Hi guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to continue opening up that DIY jewelry box from ThreadUp.com. And if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlia and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and I do direct sales through YouTube. If you're interested in anything you see in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com. So now let's dive into part two of this box. So I hope everyone is doing well. And I was very pleasantly surprised with um, the first part of this box. Um, usually with a lot of these boxes, it's always a gamble and you never know what you're going to get but there was definitely a lot of sterling in this box overall. So I was definitely pleasantly surprised. Okay, so the first piece out of this box is this. Lovely necklace, wow. And these feel like glass. They're heavy, really gorgeous. Um, there's a little, a little bit of wear on the gold plating on here, and it probably needs a good cleaning. But overall, it is okay. It definitely needs to be wiped down. But it has this ribbon going through the chain. I think it's very Chanel-esque. And let's see if there's a mark on this. I don't see a mark on it. That's very nice. like that a lot. Very cute with the little bow here, a ribbon. This grass green ribbon. I think the ribbon's okay. Where's the other part of the bow? But um, I think that's cute. Let's get a measurement on this guy. This one measures in at 20 inches around the neck with a one and a half inch extender. That's beautiful. And let me just make sure there is no mark on here. No, I don't see a mark, but um, that's really pretty. And I'll let this one go for $8. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's see what else we have. So if everyone is doing well, Still might be cold here in New York City, so hoping for some more warmer weather soon. Now, this is really pretty. Um, this feels like plastic, acrylic. Uh, all the rhinestones seem to be there, and these look sort of like baguettes. Very nice, very sparkly. Um, let's look at the back of it. That's really pretty. It's brass tone, antiqued brass, gold tone. The chain here looks like a curb chain. Um, there is some, I would say, that it looks more gold on this side of the chain versus the back of it. So I would say that perhaps there is some gold tone loss on the chain, but it has a tag and it's a J Crew. It has a lobster clasp. It's really pretty. Let's see. I really like that a lot. So let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures in at 16 inches with a two inch extender. So that's quite lovely. I like that a lot and the pearls are really pretty. So we have that. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We have, not sure what this is. It looks like this is like a bevel setting. So perhaps there was a stone or something here. I wonder if that is sterling. Be. Uh, though I do see a little bit of copper 
on the interior, but I'll put that off to the side for now. Let's see what else we have here. We have an earring. And this is a silver tone brass earring that we saw in our last video. And let's see, here's the other one. So we do have a pair. And these definitely need to be cleaned. And I don't know if they are missing something here because there is a hole on the bottom. So maybe there was a dangle at one point. But um, they are very pretty and they are magnetic. So if anybody wants these, they do need a cleaning. They will be $3. Okay, we have this multi layered necklace. See if I can get this to lay straight for you guys. Let's see, let's see. Uh, thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. Really appreciate you for coming back. Um, yeah, I'm always amazed at people who subscribe and watch. But I think, you know, it's not me, it's the jewelry that you're coming back for. So I agree. I mean, jewelry is just. One of the great joys of life, like art and music, it's just one of those things that can just instantly lift your mood. And that's what it does for me. And to be able to share it with people, I think that's one of the greatest joys of all for me. So here we go, without going into more cheesiness. But this is a really beautiful necklace. You have this bar here, and it has these different um, chains with beads. Really beautiful, and I think these are acrylic, but let me just um, take my gem tester here and see if these are glass, but I think they are, hmm, they are going up to glass. Some of them are moving towards glass, some are not. There's no mark on this, but this is beautiful. Got these really metallic metal beads. I've got metal beads here and then these metallic coated beads. That's very beautiful. Let's get a measurement on this one. Okay. This one measures in at 16 inches around the neck with an extender of 3 inches. That's beautiful. Look at that. So sparkly. If anybody wants this, this will be $8. That's gorgeous. Okay, next we have chain here. It's a silver chain, very dainty. There is no mark, but we're missing a clasp here. And it's not sterling, so we have that. Oh, we have this cord necklace. It's a velvet, or it's sort of like a faux leather cord. And then we have these wire wrapped square faceted stones here. And these are beautiful. I wonder if these are stones. Let's see, I can bring in the presidium. Let's see if the black one onyx? Nope. It's moving towards glass, so maybe it's glass. Let's try this one. Yep, that could be glass too. And this one could be glass as well. So we have this beautiful glass necklace. Very pretty. Love the colorway on this. And geometric stones. Uh, let's get a measurement on this. This one measures 12 inches around the neck with a one and a half inch extender. That's really cute. If anybody wants that, that will be $6. Okay. Let's see. That is here. We have, oopsies. Okay, we have this necklace which says reed. 
That's really cool for maybe a kid who likes to read. And it's a silver tone chain. That's the back of it. It's a metal um, pendant. It's, if anybody wants this, this will be $2. That's cute. And we have this. These beads feel cold to the touch, so I wonder if they are glass seed beads. But we definitely have a lot of layers here. Very pretty color, dark blue, and the sort of cloudy, milky, translucent stone here. And is this a clasp? No, it's not a clasp. It is just um, three stones here. And very pretty. Uh, they, it does look like it could use a good cleaning. There are some spots there, but this is the top of it. That's really nice. The colors are beautiful. And here is the bottom of it. Really beautiful. I'm pretty sure these are glass. I'm just going to take the presidium and... Well, they're slightly moving. So I'm not sure it's not going all the way up on glass. But we have these. This is very pretty. If anybody wants this one, this one will be $6 as well. Very beautiful. Okay, let's see what we have. We have a, ooh, some bonus hair. Ooh. Okay, just gonna put that right there. Oh, so a lot of bonus hairs. Okay. Uh, so we have this mesh and rhinestones and ribbon. And I think all of the rhinestones are there. And this is a tie that you can tie up. So you could tie a little bow on the back and wear it at different lengths. And there is a mark on this, and this is, oh, this is a J. Crew. So that's interesting. So we have a J. Crew mark there. Okay, um, the ribbon, it's not fraying exactly, but there, it's a little bit fraying there. But it's okay, it's in good condition. It, it's a little wrinkly, but it's uh, pretty. So I don't know if I should give a measurement on this. I'll just take it at its longest length. It's about 22 inches for a drop, so it's 44 inches around. It's this really pretty grayish brown color. So we have that, and if anybody wants this, this will be $8. Okay, next we have a, these feel like glass sea beads, and these are really beautiful, beautiful like porcelain or ceramic beads painted. Gorgeous beads here. Um, but unfortunately, the barrel clasp has come loose. We're missing a little... Oh wait, actually it could be hooked back on, but if anybody wants to do that and repair this little guy, he, she will be $2. Pretty beads on that. And then we have an earring here, and this is a coral plastic bead hoop. I think we saw this in our last video. I don't know where the other one went, but we have that. We'll try and locate that one if anybody's interested. If so, that one will be a dollar. Okay, see this beaded necklace here. Ooh, this is pretty. Really pretty. I love this. Um, we have a clasp here, and there is some stuff going on there. 
Not sure what that is exactly, but it's brown. It looks like it could be glue or something. That needs to be cleaned off, but it is a... Hmm. It's this wooden necklace with all of these beautiful beads on it. Let's see. So that's the top of it. And here we have all of these gorgeous, gorgeous colored beads. I think some are ceramic. Or glass. This one's a really pretty bead. And just beautiful colors. I think these are wood or some type of a nut. Look at the gorgeous beads on this guy. Can you see that? Really pretty. And for some reason, okay, so I don't think this clasp opens because I'm trying to like twist and turn and it doesn't look like it opens. So I think it doesn't open. It's just a little binding here. But that's really beautiful. Really like that a lot. Let's get a measurement on this beauty. This one measures about, as a 14 inch drop, so it's 28 inches around the neck. But if that doesn't spell summer to you or spring, I don't know what does. Look beautiful with the white t shirt. It's beautiful. Like that a lot. Okay. Next we have a looks like one of those statement necklaces, but this looks pretty beat up. It has a ribbon going through again. Um, this one is not marked, but we have these beautiful findings, which I think could make really beautiful earrings. They almost look like J. Crew, but I think you could just, you know, put a another jump ring there, an ear hook. Those would be great earrings, guys. Yeah, I just, uh, I think I might do that. Um, I might keep this for myself to make a few earrings, like two pairs of earrings and a, maybe a pendant out of this. What do you think, guys? I think I will do that because this looks beat up. So I'm gonna add that to my craft pile. And I will try and do an upcoming video where I am doing simple fixes to items because that I can do and maybe that will inspire some of you to also, who are not crafters, to fix some of your jewelry up. Okay, so we have this necklace here, which is in a bit of a tangle. Okay, hold on guys. Okay, we have this very pretty pendant. The circle, the diamond, and this teardrop shape. And then we have this beautiful, delicate, dainty silver tone chain. There are two knots there, but I'm not gonna take them out right now because that will take me forever, but I think that could be an easy fix. But the chain says something here. Whoa, it says 14 karat Italy, guys. Um, let me see if I can zoom in there. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. But it says 14K. Italy. So that is interesting. That is very interesting. Um, it's definitely not magnetic. And let's take the Presidium and see if these stones here are anything to 
to write home about. Let's see, these are so tiny. Sorry, guys. Hmm. They seem to be going up to the ruby and sapphire. Let's try one more time. Okay. I'll just put it up against here to give me something. I wish I had great vision, guys, but I don't. So it's definitely going up to the ruby and sapphire. That is really interesting. I don't even know how to um, price something like this. But let's do a test on this and see if it is 14K. So I'm gonna take the clasp there, do a scratch. I'm gonna scratch the back of this chain here, maybe where the knot is. Okay, so that is the class, and that is the chain. So let's see, I have the 14K solution right here. And let's go in on these two spots, scratches. And if the marks remain, then that chain is definitely 14K. So I'm assuming it's 14K white gold, if it is, because it's silver chain and the marks are staying. Can you see that? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, that is interesting. I've only encountered 14k maybe two other times in these boxes. And this is a really delicate chain with this beautiful setting here. And I wonder if this pendant is 14k. I'm assuming it is. Don't really know. Um, I'm going to just take another scratch here. Let's see. I think the chain is just 14k. Not so sure about the setting on that. But let's see. Could be wrong. It looks like it's staying, guys. So this could all be 14K. That is pretty interesting. This is turning out to be a great box. Wow, guys. So I think this is a 14 carat white gold chain made in Italy. And I believe these are white sapphires? I'm not sure. So I definitely need to research this. But whoa, that is a great find. And I don't know how to sell these guys, so I will have to bring this back at some point. But that's beautiful. Wow. Okay. Moving on. Very happy with that. We have this beautiful star, and it has like an inlay here. That's very pretty. Looks like an opal. And I don't know if that is real opal or a fake opal. And I don't know if opal um, tests on the presidium. I don't think it would, but let's see. No, it does not. So I'm not sure if that is an opal. It's very pretty. It's on the silver tone slinky chain. And very beautiful. Let's get a measurement on him. He measures in 18 inches around the neck. And there is a mark on this guy too. And this is 925 Italy. And then it has a mark right there. I don't know if you can see. I don't know. But it says Can you see? It's too bright, probably. It says 925 Italy, and then it has a little, like a little telephone mark here. So that's interesting. 
So I think this could be sterling. Okay, so let's test this chain here. We'll test the clasp. Now we'll test a little part of the starfish here. Or it's star. I don't know if it's starfish, but it looks like it's sterling. That's really pretty. We'll take the 18K solution, like Kristen D says, and see if this turns bright blue. If it does, then we have sterling on our hands. And it's turned bright blue, guys. Can you see that? So this is a sterling necklace. Wow, very impressed with this box. Very beautiful. We have that. Nice. Okay, guys, let's keep going. All right, we have here a multi-layered necklace with some bonus here. And this has a T, which I believe is Talbots. And these beads are plastic or acrylic. Okay, so I'm back from untangling that Talbots necklace. So it definitely could use a wipe down, but it has these beautiful bar findings, this clasp here, lobster clasp, and these various beautiful beads. You can see that. And I don't know if these are, they feel cold to the touch. They are moving up towards glass. So I think some of them could be glass. I'll show you the presidium here. So you can take a look and decide for yourself. If you can see. But I think they are not see because of the glare. Um, I think these are glass. They are moving towards glass. So we have this beautiful Tapats necklace. Very beautiful. I just love the noise that these stones make. It's multi-layered. These beautiful stones. So let's get a measurement on this one. This one measures in at 14 inches around the neck with a two inch extender. So we have this beauty. Okay. And next, oops, we have something that is broken. And these are these are faux pearls, but they're pretty. We have that, so that will be going into craft if anybody wants. Then we have this gold tone necklace as a lobster clasp, and then we have some really pretty charms. We have this, hmm. Okay, we have several things going on. We have a hoop here, and then we have a flower charm with a little pink rhinestone. Then we have a little tassel with a pink stone, another pink stone here, and a flower. So that's very pretty. So that is magnetic. That's the top of it, and that's the bottom of it. And I don't know if these are real stones or not. Let's bring in the Presidium and test and see if they are. Let's see this pink one here. That is just glass, I think. And this one is moving up to quartz, perhaps. Hmm. I have to recalibrate this guy. But I think we have, we have some sort of stone here and then this pink glass. 
That is very beautiful. It looks gold plated for sure. Very good gold plating on here. That's beautiful. So we have that. And this measures in at 20 in about 18 inches around the neck with a two inch extender. Very beautiful. Keep going. We have a brass tone hoop earring, a pair of them. These are really pretty. Um, I like brass jewelry. I think these are earrings. I believe they are. It's very interesting because this is a very thick post, if you think about it, but I think these are earrings. They sort of are a continuous hoop. So that is very interesting. I guess you can see here. These are brass. I think these would look really nice polished up. Very nice hoop earrings and they are two and a half inches in size. Really cool. I like that a lot. Then we have, oh, I think we have the other end to this bracelet. So I will put this in a little baggie if anybody wants to fix it. That will be a dollar. Really pretty Tahitian-like pearls. They are not real, but they are pretty. So that will be a dollar if anybody wants that. Okay, then we have this braided chain, multicolor metal, copper, black, gold. Um, this is interesting. I'm not sure how this works. Or you could wear it like this. Oops. Like that. And then you have the tassel on the back, or you can wear it with the tassel in the front. So this is a very versatile necklace. Very interesting. Let's get a measurement on this. This measures about 20 inches around. I wonder if you can also wear it as a bracelet. I think you can. It's pretty cool with the tassel. I like that idea. Very nice, interesting necklace there. Okay, then we have this bracelet. Very pretty. It's silver tone, I don't think this is sterling. That would be great if it was, but I don't see any marks. But um, let's do a little scratch of it. Yeah, I don't think that is. We will take the 18K solution. Let's see if it turns bright blue. And it doesn't, so it is not sterling. But it's very pretty. Um, let's get a measurement on him. He measures in about five and three quarters. Or maybe about a six, I think. I think he measures about a six. There is some, there is not a lot of give on this guy. So it's about a six or so. Very nice. We have that. Okay, next we have these pearls. And these feel cold to the touch. So I wonder if these are glass pearls. And I think they are. They're this pretty pearlescent pink. These pearls on the back here seem to have some wear. They're very beautiful still. And then we have this clasp here where you, you pinch that and you pull it out like so. And you hook it back in and then push it back in. And there you go. That's beautiful. I don't think this is sterling, no. This has a measurement of 
24 inches around the neck. There is some wear on the back again, but it's still a very beautiful necklace. And we have that. Okay, then we have this, oh, a Christmas tree brooch. That's really beautiful. Beautiful rhinestones on that. This one's not marked, but very cute. I like him a lot. If anybody wants him, he will be $7. I like him. Okay, next we have this, which is silver tone. Hmm, this big tangle here. I don't know if this is on purpose or if it's a some sort of a tasselly goodness going on which it may be. Silver tone, sort of antique silver tone chain here. These beautiful findings here. And this is by BCBG Generation. And really pretty chains. And then we have the knot here, and then the tassel. So that's really nice necklace like that. It definitely needs to be wiped down, but it's very pretty nonetheless. Let's get a measurement on this. This is 16 inches, wearable length, and a three inch extender. Very pretty, a very modern take on the satwa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but very beautiful. Okay, we're almost done here. We have a Oh, a K necklace. This could be for my sister. Let's see. It's a K necklace. It is not marked. It's very delicate. And it has two layers here. That's cute. And the K is sort of off center, which is very, very cute. I love that. Um, let's get a measurement on this. This measures 14 inches with a three inch extender. Let's see, this is magnetic. Very nice, I love that. Cute, K necklace. Pretty good. Then we have this, Oh, this looks like an ancient rune of sorts. Don't know what that says. If you happen to know, please let us know. We have this and it feels like it's made out of some sort of clay. And then we have this rope here. We have that. And we have this. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. I love the beads on this, the gold, and then, then we have the AB coated beads and the gold tone chain. Really pretty. I don't know if this was a choker at one point, but it is missing a missing a jump ring here. So that sucks because this is gorgeous and beautifully made. Wow, if I could fix that, how amazing would that be? This measures 22 inches around the neck. I'm not even sure how to go about fixing this. I think that's going to have to go into craft as much as I hate to part with that. That is just beautiful. I don't know. I might keep that. I don't know. Less. Okay, then we have this stretchy, which doesn't have a lot of stretch here, but it's silver tone. Don't see a mark. Oh, but there is a clasp here. Oh, it's not a clasp. Oh, no, it's not a clasp. That's just part of the design. So we have that, and this measures in at seven inches around. If anybody wants this, this will be $4. Okay, then we have this black earring here, very pretty. Then we have this earring, it's showing some wear, but very pretty too. Then we have this pin, very nice, shiny rhinestones. There's no mark on this. If anybody wants this guy, this will be, oops, 
five dollars. Very sparkly. Okay, a couple more items, guys. And then we are done with this box. Let me just pour it all out here. Okay, so I see more of the beads for that necklace or bracelet we saw earlier. So I'm just gonna quickly grab these and add them to this bag. Oh, we found the black cab for that giant necklace in the first part. So I don't know if I will go repair it. I may actually. Okay, so we have this pendant, very pretty. This is cold to the touch. This is some kind of a glass. We have another one here, two of these. I don't know what this is actually. Let's see. And if it says something here, it's going up towards glass. So I think this is glass. That's interesting. I don't know what these are. These are some sort of symbol. It's like a paw print. I'm not sure what that is. Very interesting. So we have these guys. That ring, I think. There's no mark on it. It's, I think it's a ring. And if it's a ring, it's a rather large one. It's a size 10. So we have that. Then we have this pin and the swirls on the back. I think this is 1928. Very pretty. This is acrylic. This print, the flowers on it, and the pearls. It's lovely. I really like this one a lot. Oops, that's beautiful. So we have that. Then we have these guys, which look like they have these holes here. So I don't know if this was part of a bracelet, because we have several of them here. So maybe this was a bracelet, but I don't see the other findings, like the clasp. I found some of these beads, uh, these rhinestones. So let's see if they're missing any. But um, these are really pretty. And I have to give a shout out to Deb Tiny Deer, who told me to check out um, a necklace that I had in one of my previous videos for with a black light to see if it was uranium glass or not. So I'm still investigating that, but now I'm really curious like to see things that may glow with the black light. So I'm curious if these will glow. How will things look? Whoa, so what does that mean, guys? Is this uranium glass or what? I mean, I've had pearls that glow too and some white beads, so I don't know if that means they are all glass, but wow, guys. Let me know what you think these are. I don't know what these are, so I'm going to keep them because, yeah, I just don't know. They just look very interesting, but maybe they're just glass, just glowy glass. So I will keep these for now. Oh, I found um, this one is missing one, so that needs to be glued back on. But. I'll just keep these all in here and figure out what I want to do with them and figure out what it is. So I have no clue. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think these are. Okay, so we found a match to the porcelain teacup. Very beautiful. So cute. I love these guys. And I think they're made out of genuine porcelain. Very, very cute love these guys. We have those. Then we have a single pearl earring, which I think is not real. Then we have a 
match to the black earring we saw earlier. These are very pretty. Very romantic. If anybody wants these, and I think everything is there, these will be $3 if anybody wants them. Gorgeous. Okay, and then I'm gonna match to the other earring. These don't look so great. They might need to be cleaned. I don't know if I can. If anybody wants these, these will be a dollar. Okay, we have a match to the pearl earring. Then we have this guy who is a pin. And he's not marked. He's a little pearl pin, gold tone, very cute like him a lot. Then we have these earrings here. They are not marked. Hmm. But they're very pretty square CZ earrings. Just not sure they are CZs. I'm pretty sure they are not diamonds. Yeah, they're definitely glass. And these are not marked. They need to be cleaned up. They're gorgeous. And I should test them to see if they are 10K or something, right? <laughs> you never know. Let's see if this stays. Hmm. Try it again. Let's see if they're not marked, so. I don't know what they could be, but I'm very curious. It does take the 14K solution here and see if it stays. I think the line is staying, guys. But if something is not marked, oh, wait a second, there is a mark on this, guys. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but it says 14K, and then it says JCM on the post. So that is very cool. So these tested to be glass, cubic, zirconian, and 14K posts. And the earbacks are marked. So those are very, very cool. And they're marked 14K JCM on the back of these guys. So very, very nice. Okay, and there is another pair of earrings here. Wait a second, I think I have Are these the same size. Let's see. So, okay, so there's a bigger one here. And then there's a smaller one here. Okay, so there are two kinds. I think this one is also marked. They're both marked 14K JCM. See that? I can make that out. But that is pretty neat. How neat is that? Wow, very, very cool. I think there is just a few more items here. We have this, which will go into craft. And we have this beautiful art glass pendant. This is a really pretty one. It's clear. And then it's got this sort of marbleized flower swirl going on. Very pretty. If anybody wants her, she will be $5. Oh, and then there's last but not least, we have this, which looks like a snail. And I forgot the name of this as well. But yeah, we have one of these and I don't think it belongs to anything. But we have this guy, really pretty. Okay guys, um, so that was the end of this thread up. DIY jewelry box, which I was very, very impressed with. Um, definitely a lot of interesting pieces. 
Let me know, guys, what you thought of this box in its entirety or what you thought of the second part. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you had any favorites, if you have any insight to share with us, what these pieces might have been, if I missed anything. I uh, really appreciate each and every one of you guys for coming back and watching because it just means a lot. Okay guys, so remember to hit that bell notification on the way out. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed so that you can be notified of the next video. And most of all guys, please be well.